Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay, and today I'm gonna be bringing you my controller settings for Battlefield 2042. So, Eduardo had asked me about this in one of the comments, so I haven't put one up yet just due to the fact that because the game's constantly changing, especially on console and not having aim assist, I didn't want to completely put out what I've been using. And I am going backwards and forth on what specific settings that I want to use, so on and so forth. However, you ask, you shall receive. I'll give you what I'm currently using. And as things go through and things change, uh, if there's any drastic changes, I will update you guys. But this video is just going to pertain to the actual settings itself, and I'm going to make it pretty quick. So controller schemes, the only thing that is different on this for me is uh, the buttons, which is alternate. So this way I can have my melee be my B button and crouch uh, will be my analog stick. For PS5 or PS4, that would be circle instead of B. And then all these others are uh, default or alternate. Alternate is because um, for when I play Battlefield 4, it's going off those settings. But it's not really benefiting me because I didn't play Battlefield 4 on uh, Xbox or I didn't save the settings. So it's not really benefiting me. But if you have it on like alternate um, or custom, you can set it up any specific way. But for these, I just leave them all as default. The only thing I change in controller schemes is the actual button layout itself. Then going over here to uh, on foot, uh, you have controller aim sensitivity at 40. Uh, this is one of the ones that I'm constantly tweaking, trying to figure out which one I want. I had it at default for 20 for a while, and now I'm kind of using 40, and then going up from there. I've seen people using 80, uh, 50, but this ultimately comes down to preference. And if it's moving too fast, then you need to slow it down. Like if you're trying to track someone, you always fly right past them, then you need to bring it down some if you are not able to keep up with them when you're trying to track them, and this is not when you're aiming down sights, by the way, then you need to bring it up and just find something that really works with you. Uh, it, it's not, to me, it's not as cut and dry as Call of Duty. So right now, like I said, I'm using 40. Uh, field of view, uh, you can go all the way up to 120. Um, I'm using 100, I find this to be the perfect one. And then ADS field of view. So what this means is whenever you aim down sights, if you have this turned off, then it doesn't zoom in and kind of make the area that you zoom that you're aiming at a little bit bigger so you want to have this turned on because this is also whenever aim assist is finally fixed is going to allow you to have a better aim assist whenever you aim down sights if your field of view is crazy high like 120. um oh turn that off by accident soldier aim assist you know uh you got to tweak with us see what works best for you for right now because you're still working on it i had it at 100 i had it off it now I'm trying it at 80 to see what's the best setup itself. But right now, 80 seems to be pretty good for me. It's still not there. You know, we're still we're still at a huge disadvantage competing against uh, PC players. So just continue to mess with it and see which one works best for you. And all this other stuff is just basic default. Um, the only other things that I really had changed, and I'm just going slowly through here just so you guys can see it. Uh, is aiming left right acceleration put that on zero all right i think at default it's like at 50 put it at zero and that's just like whenever you first use your analog stick at first it starts moving slowly and then obviously just starts increasing this takes that completely out so this way it's just one smooth uh look to the left or to the right it doesn't get faster it doesn't get slower etc uh vertical aim ratio uh I'm going to be 100% honest. I put it to 64. I'm just messing with it. Uh, it's just one of the things I'm tweaking. I, I'm not really sure if it's if it's helping or not helping. It's just something I kind of tweak from, you know, one time to another. I had a buddy tell me, tell me put it on 64. I put it on 64. I've messed with it. I don't really see that much of a difference. But put it on 64. Let me know what you think. Going down here, uniform aiming, uh, uniform soldier aiming. So I have this turned on and then coefficient put down to zero. Now coefficient, whenever you're aiming as, as a soldier, it, it just kind of links it where the sensitivity is the same all around. And when you put the coefficient to zero, 
if you put it all the way up to like 173 or 200 or whatever it might be, then when you're aiming down sights, it's it's really really fast. But if you put it at zero, it's not as fast, allowing you to track your targets a little bit better. Um, I find this to be the best one. This one I'm not changing. I, I really like the coefficient, especially since the aim assist again isn't working. So put it on zero and then see what you think about it and just go up in increments if it's something you don't like. Vehicles, I'll basically default uh, vehicle aim sensitivity. I did bring that down. I was trying to get it whenever I'm learning to use these helos, uh, especially the little bird, to see if it would help me out from like tracking people, but I'm not having any luck. That damn helicopter is messing me up. So any any advice on that would be greatly appreciated. I'll be 100% honest with you on that one. But everything else is completely default. Um, I don't really mess with the vehicles way too much, and that's why they're still default, because I'm still just trying to get my controller settings for while I'm on foot down pat. And then moving over to controller tuning, this one, again, comes down to preference. It also depends on not just preference, but how old your controller is, if there's any uh, stick drift in it. And that's where, like, if you're not even touching an analog stick and your controller's moving, right? This is where you have to mess with that, your center dead zone, uh, how far you need to move it left, right, up, down, diagonal, before it actually moves. And the only thing I've changed is the center dead zone right here. Actually, I need to change this one, too. Change that to 5. Uh, but everything else is basically default because I'm not seeing any, any like con like bad things for not changing it off default. But if if you notice, whenever you're put inputting your buttons, for example, the left max, uh, the LT, or for you guys, if you're playing on PlayStation, L2 or L1, R1, R2. If you feel like you have to push it in too much before, or it's too sensitive, this is where you can change it. If it's too sensitive, just bring it down. And if you want it to be less sensitive, bring it up. But that is basically it for the controller settings. Eduardo, I apologize. I didn't think about putting it in my last video. So I want to thank you for leaving that as a comment. And let's roll the outro. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.